microphone or too far from the microphone, it kind of cuts out. So. Me? I cut out? Yes. Mm -hmm. and I, I don't know. I mean, well, maybe we can pay attention. I'll try to watch your body language and what you're doing when it cuts out. So, but it's, it's definitely a microphone pickup or feedback. And it's very slight, but it's when you're moving around. And I don't know if it's too close or too far. But, and Matt, have you noticed that? With his voice? Yeah, sometimes it cuts in and out just a little bit, like if he's too close or too far from his microphone. Uh, no, I have not noticed okay. that, actually. We'll pay attention to it today, um, Chris. Maybe it won't come up since we're kind of in stable situations at the moment. All right. Well, I am officially recording. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I changed my color shirt. I was, wearing, I was wearing an RM, and then I thought it was kind of washing my face out, so I went to get it. <laughs> <laughs> you look, you look, everybody looks so fabulous. I, I'm very excited about this morning. All right. Um, who wants to go first? Who wants to give this a shot? All right. I, apparently it's me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> go first at what? That's the bigger question. Well, I thought we were going to try to do the, the first thing we were going to try to do was the uh, intros. Yes. Right? Just the quick intros, sizzle kind of. Mm -hmm. Kind of thing, and then introduce ourselves, kind of thing. Ourselves and say, hey, "Look, I'm excited." So let's, you know, let's get started. That kind of thing. Okay. All right. Well, we'll find out because I, I was working on it in my head, but I haven't said it out loud yet. So <laughs> this will be the first time. All right. I am going to hide you guys here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute you here while I'm doing this. And then, okay. No, that's not what I want. I'm gonna be the center. Okay, I don't have any reactions, so I'll get started. I am excited that you decided to join us here today. Uh, my name is Chris Neerum. I'm an award-winning uh, corporate trainer, and that was a long pause between that, wasn't it? So i <laughs> try it again. Hello, my name is Chris Neerum, and I'm excited that you've decided to join us today. Uh, I'm an award-winning corporate trainer. I know you can win an award for doing that. Who knew? I'm also a stand-up comic, and I used to be a school teacher. And I have to tell you, I love teaching, and I'm excited that you decided to join us and that you're going to work with us to learn about how to make choice your superpower, how to become your best self by making inspired choices. So let's get started. <laughs> I have no idea how that went. I'm unmuting you people. That is a weird thing to do. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen you as uncomfortable, Chris. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> I'm already like, I need to stand up, so. He's over there giggling and. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was, well, so it came off uncomfortable. Yay, that's exactly yeah. what I was hoping for. <laughs> hey, you I want people to go, wow, that guy's uncomfortable. I'd like to be on <laughs> Yeah, this, <laughs> this hey, isn't a course about confidence. All right. Well, it's funny when you're, you know, you're looking at yourself. I think that's part of the part, thing that's a little weird is you're looking at yourself yeah. and you're talking. So it's a little, you know, let me try it again and I'll look at the, I'll look at the camera. There's a little camera on there and we'll see. It. All right. Let me. Do, why don't, let us go and then you go again. How's that? Or do you want to, you want to go now? Yes, no, that's fine. I'll, I'll let you guys look uncomfortable. <laughs> All right, you're up, Joanna, since you suggested. Okay, yeah. So, as I'm sending myself this Wonder Woman picture, or, okay. Well, what are we calling ourselves? We, we don't have that yet. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. I'm, I'm working on something. Okay. Um, all right, so... Welcome. My name's Joanna Blackstock, and I'm so happy to be with you guys today and associated with I have put together this mission to help you become a better speaker, trainer, motivator in your own world. We come from various backgrounds. Um, my background's in real estate and sales. I've done that for 15 years. Um, I'm loving it. I'm teaching other people how to love their careers, and we're excited to help you learn how to love more of your life and experience things on a higher level. 
I do better when I wing it, so we'll, we can always tweak, right? <laughs> uh, we're going to have to do that again because my son decided that he was going to ask me if he could have a cupcake right in the middle of your speech. At 6 <laughs> in the morning? <laughs> That's <laughs> If you if you might want give me one second, I would like to set the protocol with my son. So yeah. he knows what's going on. So nice. hold on. <laughs> and I still wasn't ready for that, so I might. Uh, I think we're. I think we're putting together the blooper reel this morning, Joanna. Well, yeah, that's that's a good idea. I mean. Hello. Those are my favorite. I say to the end of the movie when I have to go to the bathroom so bad just to see. <laughs> Like, I drank that big old soda. Mm -hmm. I gotta wait. Yeah, in fact, speaking of. Hi! Hello, welcome back. Hey! That you you missed it. Joanna made herself disappear. There she is. Okay. She went whoo and she was gone. All right. Who are we helping? Let's focus on that. Okay. You get, are on. you get to see you get to see us uh, fumble through this the first time. So it's your turn, buddy. <laughs> Thanks a lot. So when, when you're making us go, are you are you hiding the screen as well? Like, because I can see everybody out all the time. So just don't mute everyone, or you're gonna mute me. Like, all right. Uh, I will just. I'm gonna mute myself and Joanna, and then you're up. So, hang on, mute. Hi everybody, my name is Matthew Hale and I'm happy you joined our course. I have been in sales my entire career. I got to a point where I was stuck, I was frustrated, I want more out of life and I didn't know what to do. Luckily, I came across these two people who have helped me with coaching, self-development, and finding a better way to make my life full with more passion, and more fun. And that's what we're gonna do with you guys here. We're gonna teach you skills and habits so that you guys can learn how to make your life the best possible. So welcome aboard, it's gonna be a fun ride. Now you gotta yeah. unmute yourself. There you go. Nice, oh, that was great. You practiced. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I'm trying to be more present, Joanna, and I'm just going with the moment. Oh, <laughs> your pants. I got that one. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to try this again. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, I got to. I got to put myself back on the screen here. Hi, my name is Chris Neerum, and I'm excited to have you guys join us today. Uh, I am an award-winning corporate trainer. Believe it or not, I've been doing corporate training for 13 years, and you can win an award for doing that. What a shocker. I didn't know that, and I won an award for it. Uh, I'm also a stand-up comic, which you'll find out very shortly that I like to talk in funny voices and make silly faces. This is not a silly face, just so you know. Uh, we are really excited to be working with you. Um, look. We've all gone through challenges in life. We've all met challenges and succeeded, and sometimes we failed. And we're gonna teach you how to make choices that make you passionate about your life, because I know I'm passionate about it, I know I'm on. <laughs> Hello, that's my bald head. All right, I wanna try one more time. We start. Hi, my name is Chris Deerham. I'm excited that you decided to join us. I'm an award-winning corporate trainer. Did you know that you can actually win an award for doing that? Uh, you can, and I, I actually won one award. Uh, I'm here to help you. I, I'm a teacher. I, I, that's the way I look at myself. I've been a corporate trainer. I taught seventh and eighth grade, and I'm also a stand-up comic. So a very, very odd person. I have a very eclectic background. Uh, and what I've learned is that choice is really your superpower, and it's a muscle that you can build, and that's what we're going to help you do. We're going to help you Learn how to make inspired choices, to find passion in your life, to have more fun, to have better relationships. That's our goal, to help you do that by learning some, some key principles and key concepts. And we're excited to be working with you. So I look forward to this journey. I don't know. I don't know. It's very strange.
I'm looking at myself. It's weird to just look at myself while I'm talking. So. Yeah, I know. I guess just oh. focus on the, like, focus on the camera. You know, like. I, to... You guys are still on my screen when I'm talking. So Matt, because you were talking last year first, so I feel like I'm talking to you. So. That's oh, good. okay. But I guess if oh, you're yeah. recording your screen, Chris, you can't really do that. Huh? That's well, right. I guess I could put them. I could put. I could leave them up there. Right. I mean, I can leave it when I'm recording, but I was trying to, so I don't know, maybe it, when we're saying us and that'd be a little better, but I don't know. I mean, it's, I'm, I'm winging this thing and it's, uh, sure. I had stuff in my head. All right. Hey, no, it's good. It's good practice. This is just good practice either way. So. <laughs> okay. I got to go. So I can't hear what Matt said. <laughs> Hi, welcome. My name is Joanna Blackstock. I'm an international teacher, speaker, trainer, and real estate agent. And I'm super happy to be with you guys. And Chris and Matt and I have been working together for several months to put together a program that we've found the tools from learning from the masters, how to get absolutely every ounce of life out of every single day and live within our passions. And we're looking forward to helping you by sharing these principles and experiences with you to help you get the most out of every one of your days. Good. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, no, much better. I like just the, you know, the thought I had listening to you guys and then also myself a little bit was uh, this could be like a quick little video. Selling oh, it the needs program. To be. You know, selling the program too. Not only is it an intro, but it's kind of like, you know, this is something we could all put out on our Facebook pages, like the quick intro on what we're doing. Mm -hmm. I like it. it. It could be kind of fun like that. So I think that's good. I think this is good. We, we need to keep saying stuff like this, you know, and just keep, keep, uh, um, what, what's a, uh, like you know, say top of mind. Yeah. Top, <laughs> top of mind, you know, what we're doing. And, and I think this is a good practice. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I agree. I, you know, it's funny. It, 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 it's kind of like reminding you, like, this is your elevator pitch. I was just going to yeah. say that. And we haven't practiced the one for this group yet <laughs> until just now. Right. And so this is why it's a good, good experiment, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, this, is, this is good for us. I mean, it's good to get us thinking about it because now I'm realizing, look, I want to write this out a little clearer. Like, when, mm -hmm. like, what is my target group? What am I trying to say? Because I had it in my head and I was writing it in my head and I, I said it in my head a number of times and I'm realizing it, it comes out differently. So it's, um, it's, a, it's a really good exercise to do. All right, Matt, let's give you another shot here. Okay, give me one second. Let me just. Okay. Hi, everybody. My name is Matthew Hale. I teach people who want more out of life and they don't know how to get it, how to experience a life that excites them. I've been stuck in a career for way too long. It just it made me frustrated. I felt trapped. I felt stuck. I didn't know what to do. Luckily, the one thing I had going for me is I just kept reading, I kept discovering, and I stumbled upon the success principles that have led me to a life of more happiness and more passion. And I've decided that what I wanted to do was share this with everyone else so they could live a better life as well. These principles, these habits, these things that we will teach you will awaken your spirit. It'll make you feel alive. You will start living your best life and make a huge impact on the world. I'm excited for what you're about to learn, and I'm excited to see how you're going to impact the world on your own terms. Welcome to the course. Ooh, man. It's getting cool. better. It's getting it's better. Getting better. It's, I, I think just the exercise of going through it, it's kind of, uh, I, I liked it. Yeah. I had to kick my son out. How, what time do we got? I don't know. I want a cupcake, though, man. <laughs> it's a cheat week. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's all been cheap days. Should we, should, we try one more, should we try one more round? And then we'll, Joanna, I know you have a, you know, a, a segment to do. What do you think? I'm good with whatever you guys. Yeah, Chris, why don't you go? And then Joanna, if you want to go, you can go. Oh, all right.
Hi, my name is Chris Deerham, and I am a professional speaker, stand-up comic, and I'm a, really at heart, I'm a teacher. And I have, uh, I have to start over. <laughs> Hi, my name is Chris Deerham, and I'm excited that you've decided to join us today. I am a corporate trainer, been one for 13 years, and I actually won an award for corporate training, which is strange. I didn't even know there was awards for corporate training, but I managed to win one. Uh, I'm also a stand-up comic. I'm a teacher, and I'm excited that you're joining us because, look, I, I went through some difficult times in my life, and I came across some concept and principles that have helped me to be succeed. I kind of was implying them in my life, but let's say in not a systematic way, they were kind of random. So I achieved a, what a lot of people would consider success, but it wasn't until I started applying certain principles in a systematic manner that I really noticed a change in my career in my life, in my relationship with my kids. And that's exactly what I want to teach you. And I know that my friends here also want to teach you these concepts. And I know they're excited to be, that you're joining us. So let's get started. And you can start living the life of passion that you want by exercising your superpower, your choice. Let's get started. I don't know. It feels so strange. <laughs> All right. No, it's, it's definitely getting it's getting better, and I like I like how it changes every time. Yeah, we could do this for three hours, and we'll probably all have something different every time. Uh huh. <laughs> well, yeah, I think I, I that your your last one was really helpful. I I like that you said that you started talking about your a little bit of your story, and I think that's a good part. It's like, look, my name is Chris Deerham. You know, I've looked, I whatever, but that just that. 30 second piece there to say, look, I've experienced this pain. I've gone through the pain because of this. I thought that was kind of a good format. So I was just, I was just stealing it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think, I think that's good. I think in, in each of us, we should, we should have a little bit of <laughs> a little bit of a pain point and then the heaven, like what, what, what is the success principles done for you? Right. You know, just speak, speak from the heart. Mm -hmm. I'm Matt. I hated my life or I hated my career, you know? Can you hear right. that? Right, you want to give it a go try? <laughs> do I want to do it one more time? I'm good for right now. I don't think it'll get any better. So um, okay. I think I can All practice right. it. And maybe next week we can try this again. <laughs> All right, fair enough. That we know what these look like. I just got an email from Joanna. I do have a favor to ask, though, because I'm on my little laptop, and I am going to screw everything up by trying to pull up my email and open this picture. But that picture I wanted to use at the end of my talk. Mm -hmm. um, nice picture, and Joanna. I suppose I could, put, I could use it on my phone, too, but I kind of wanted to use because I'm going to tell the story of having to take this picture. Yeah, how fun. I, the resolution that she sent it to me is so big that it doesn't show up on my screen, so... Oh. Um, anyway, it's a is technical. It on your phone? Yeah, I have my phone. Is, is it? Is, can you get the picture on your phone? Yeah, it's on my phone. So, do me a favor. Yeah. So, hold it up and be like. So that's like that. Okay, you can see it enough. Okay. You see it enough to get the point, and okay. I think also it it makes it very like look, I did this. Like okay. I, it's, it's it's very um, relatable. Okay. Fade, fade yourself in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm still kind of winging this because Chris That's had funny. such a good idea for me to do a talk on this, but I didn't realize all the fears and the triggers that would come up in thinking about, you know, I just said yes and did it. And then I, then I thought about it and was afraid of it. So I'm still kind of winging this conversation about the story. So, so Thanks. far that's been working for me. So um, but I welcome you guys to consider feedback opportunities through this, mm -hmm. um, you know, cause this is, this one's near and dear to my heart and, um, I want to get it right. Okay. So, uh, so this is what I'm going to suggest. So I would like to experiment with us commenting on it after we're done. And it's in yes. that, what I got from it. And it's, mm -hmm. a short, it's a, just kind of a short video. Like, Oh man, you know what I really heard in this story? So I want to I want to Matt and I to practice that after your after your speech, and then what we'll do is um, let's just pick the 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 order. So Matt, I'd like you to go first, and then I'll go second, and I'll 
I'll, um, I'll, I'll click on you after she's done, like, so, you know, the, the comment, and then I'll click on you so you're the main screen uh, for your comments, and then I'll click on myself for, for me to be the main screen for the second round of comments. Okay. Are you getting right. rid of the small screen then? Well, what I'll do is, is when I click on you, you become the main speaker. Right? Without, it, without, it necessarily, without it necessarily waiting for you to speak, flipping over itself. So after Joanna finishes, then I want you to say, wow, you know, Joanna, what I really loved about this story was, this right. is what I got out of it, you know, that relates to me. And then when you're done, I'm gonna click on myself, and then I'll make myself the main speaker, and then I'll do the same thing, all right? So we could experiment exactly. with the comments to someone's pieces, because I think that's gonna be a nice, a nice add-on, get different voices in what we hear. I wanna grab right. my head real quick. So I'm gonna turn some more lights on because the sun's coming up over here and it's making everything dark. <laughs> oh yeah, I know it's, there's, there's a lot that goes into this lighting thing. I think it's gonna be time to break out my lighting kit because now I know why those exist for recordings. <laughs> You have a lighting kit? Yeah, because I've been intending to do these videos, webinars, um, things for coaching for, oh, I don't know, a long time. <laughs> and, um, and even and my assistant for real estate even, just Q&A about how to stage a house, how to do this. And my assistant's been good at encouraging me to do it. I just haven't, of all the things that I take action on, this isn't one of the things I've done yet. So. This, doing this with you guys and just having conversations online like this has made it easier for me. Good, think good. About this, thinking about I know, all of a sudden, all of a sudden you'll be making videos all over the place. <clears throat> yeah. I've been intending to do that for some time, but yes. All right. Okay, Jeremy, now. Are you ready? Okay. So, I'm going to talk about a couple of principles today that we've learned in the success principles and how they've applied to my life fairly recently. Um, the Wonder Woman movie just came out. I've been on pins and needles excited about that for about a year and uh, bought my tickets ahead of time, took my two little boys and we had, we had a great experience and it just reminded me what does it mean to be a superhero? What does it mean to take responsibility for people that you don't know? beyond yourself and that's what I want to share with you today but just to share with you a little clue into my I guess we have to call it obsession my Wonder Woman coffee mug <laughs> I have to say it did all start with this certain painting so in 2009 as we all do go through life's ups and downs I was in one of my shifts and a friend of mine invited me to an art show a kids art show a girls art show and I wasn't really in the mood to go out. I wasn't really in the mood. To, I certainly was not in any place, shape or form financially to be buying art. Um, but I went and there was this beautiful painting and it said sold on it. And I thought, Oh, well, good. Thank goodness. I don't have to buy that piece. So I couldn't get it out of my mind. And so I called the art director of the school the next day and I said, you know, if that, if something falls through with that painting, um, I'd really, I'd really like to talk to you about it. And he called me a few hours later and said, actually, the school had gifted that to someone, but if you're willing to pay for it, we really need the funds. So on that day, I got to bring home Wonder Woman. <laughs> and she's beautiful. And did you guys just lose me? Because I just lost you. We're there. Oh, I can't see my screen. Shoot. I punched a button and it worked. Oh, there we go. Okay. Pardon me. Blooper. That's what happens. But I really want you to see this full on. I mean, she's, she's big and she's beautiful. So I try not to lean on that too much because it gets a little annoying to people. But I have a friend that's a photographer and she was looking for a special marketing piece um, called It's Not an Ordinary Life. And she called me just about two weeks ago and said, I need someone to do Wonder Woman shoot for me. Would you do it? 
Um, now let me preface this by I've never worn a corset, I've never worn a bodysuit, I've never put on a cape, or a tiara really for that matter, let alone on the rooftop and have my picture taken. So there was an ounce of fear, but a whole lot of hell yes, let me be your Wonder Woman. <laughs> So I said yes, and then I, then I questioned myself. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna wear? If I don't take my own thing, she's gonna put me in something too small, and then all these body images and fears come just in. But the lesson here for me in the win was saying yes. And you get what you focus on, and I walk by this beautiful painting every day, and I'm reminded by, by it that we all have superpowers. And this particular painting was painted by some underserved girls in an after-school program. So a collection of very small pieces of talent came together to make a beautiful piece of work. And that's our life. And if we're spending time with people, <clears throat> top five people, that are adding pieces to our life, and they're enhancing things, then we're growing. So the photographer is one of those people for me. I was the first person she asked because she probably, maybe I wasn't the first person, but she knew I would say yes and I'd be excited. So the second lesson in this is feel the fear and do it anyway. I, I never thought about canceling on her. I never thought about changing the, the terms that she wanted. I just found a way to make it work for me because you know what the acronym for fear is? Fantasized experiences appearing real. Well, you know what I was worried about? How am I going to look in that costume? Well, guess what? She's an amazing photographer with incredible Photoshop. She's never made me look bad before. So I had, to, I had to just go with the fear. So what I'd like for you to do right now is just take a minute and go ahead and pause the video and do this exercise. And it starts like this. I'd really like to blank. And I scare myself by imagining blank if I did it. So I'll give you an example of how this applied to me. I would really love to A, have a Wonder Woman costume, <laughs> B, not be afraid to wear it outside of the house. Maybe I didn't really want to be photographed in it, but I would, I would really like to embody this image that kind of drives me from time to time. And I've scared myself with, I'm 5'8", size eight to 10 body, you know, dress size. Not exactly Linda Carter. <laughs> so I've scared myself by imagining that this picture would not look good or that image would be offensive to somebody or that I wouldn't be happy with myself doing that process. So luckily I had someone encourage me and make it work. But go ahead and pause and do that exercise. I really like to blank and I scare myself by imagining X. Okay, how did that feel? Even just admitting to yourself, because I can't hear what you said, and I'm hoping on our Facebook page you might actually put a note on what you imagined that you were afraid of. But how did it feel just to admit it, just to acknowledge it? And the things that we fear are the, are the made up consequences. They're not real yet. And how many times do we know great stories of people failing over and over and over. I mean, Thomas Edison, 10,000 times. Um, I mean, the list goes on. I mean, if this photo shoot hadn't worked out, she probably wouldn't have put the picture in her marketing pieces. She wouldn't have sent me the pictures for me to be upset and afraid about. But what if it did work? But what if it works? What if it did? How do things look in your life? What's that little thing? Is it a, is it a difficult conversation to have with somebody? Is it quitting your job? Is it, is it getting your head out of the sand with your finances? Is it telling the people in your world what your new boundaries, limits, expectations are? What are you afraid of? What's keeping you from doing it? And what would happen if you could overcome that fear? I hope this helps. I look forward to seeing your exercise and your work, and I hope you'll participate in our Facebook page and let us know how it worked for you. Have a great one. Go feel the fear and do it anyway.
That was great, Joanna. That's a really good story. Uh, oh, I forgot to show the picture. Wait, oh, we gotta go back. Show the picture. Rewind, rewind your recording. Okay. So just so you know, the fear was there. We were on the rooftop on a windy night and uh, some of the most scantily clad things I've ever ordered on Amazon. <laughs> but it worked out just fine. Here's the picture. Oops. That's the skyline of my city. That building is 44 stories tall that she has me standing over. And if all I ever do is look at this picture in the morning and go, I can do this today, it was worth it. If it never got printed, if it would never got on her marketing materials, every day I know that I can scale 44 story buildings in a single bound, in a corset and a skirt. <laughs> I love it. Okay. That's a great. That's a great story, Joanna. And the best part is, is you have a picture of your fear <laughs> to share. <laughs> Not everybody has that, and that's awesome. Um, I just wanted to jump in and and reflect on this story as you guys hear it as well. Um, I think there's a lot of good points you can get out of like what Joanna was talking about. Um, fearing the fear, um, like she said, you just you build it up in your mind so much, and it just becomes this thing. And um, but what she did is she took that, that same energy, that same fear that everyone gets, but she made it excitement because it was Wonder Woman. So that she was able to transfer that fear to excitement and just go up against her comfort zone and get out of it. And uh, I'm sure Chris can tell you, Joanna's probably got other stories, but when you push your comfort zone, when you say, I'm just going to do it, and no matter how it makes you feel at first, what a beautiful picture. Like it, it's something she's going to be able to just, you, you know, be in treasure with every day and once you get past it it's usually the most fun the most rewarding experience you're going to have is when you are able to just say screw the fear and do it anyways so i think that was a beautiful story um and like you said you grew you're growing and and really that is one of the biggest um aspects and benefits you're going to get out of this course is you're, you're going to grow you're going to learn and say hey pushing my comfort zone it's not really that bad uh i got through it and i had a great experience so Thank you, Joanna, for sharing that. I think that's a, um, a great story that people can learn a lot from. And Chris, I'd love to hear what you thought of that story. Well, thanks, Matt, and thanks, Joanna. I have to give credit real quick, though, to Chris, because I just told him the story about, oh, my gosh, I've got to do this Wonder Woman shoot, and I'm really nervous, and I have no time to prepare. And he said, make it a story. And that was motivating. And I just wanted to say that, Chris, to thank you for getting us to this point on this conversation. Oh, well, you're welcome. You know, look, it's compelling. Look, I, I, I honestly, I'd like to do a Wonder Woman shoot. I know that might be an overshare, but I'd like to do one. <laughs> might not be appropriate, but you know, you know, it's, it's compelling to me. Like what got you to that point? And I, I really appreciate you sharing that story with me because it's, it's the fear piece that, you know, it, it, it keeps people from living their lives of passion. And mm. The, the, what immediately came up for me <laughs> was quitting to become a stand-up comic. Like that moment, I'm like, like, I remember sitting in my cube going, what am I doing here? I am not enjoying this. I, I do not see this as a life of passion for me. And I don't know if I used the word passion. I just knew I was, I was like, oh, this is not what I want to do. And people always say, no, Chris, you're funny. You should be a stand-up comic. And I was like, huh? And at that moment, I decided to do it, and I quit my job, which I don't recommend that you necessarily do, you know, but I quit my job to go into New York. But I remember that first time I'm performing stand-up, and my God, I was so nervous. And the bartender, the bartender looks at me and goes, first time? And I'm like, oh. <laughs> and she pours me a shot of tequila. I'm like, I, I don't drink. She goes, you do now. This is New York City. And this is kind of the way people, I'm like, oh, okay. I drink a shot of tequila. She looks at me and she goes, she pours me another shot. I'm like, seriously, I don't drink. She's like, shut up. <laughs> I drink the shot. I go up. I perform. I was so, I don't really remember much of it. It was like I blacked out. <laughs> but that's the thing is I did it. I survived it. And one of the key things here about growth and self-confidence, like how to build self-confidence, is to go into something you're afraid of and surviving it. And now I absolutely love doing stand-up comedy. I love it. I love the challenge of it. But I had to get over that fear. So what a great story. And look, I really appreciate you sharing it. Uh, well done. Thank you. 
All right. So how did that feel for everybody? I'm going to go into our, our triple view here. Uh, I liked it, Joanne. I, was, I made a couple notes, too. Yeah, um, I'd love yeah. some constructive feedback, too, at this point. I know we might edit this out, but um, this, is, this is a big talk for me that's going to go bigger and longer and part of something else, I'm sure. So I'd love to get some good feedback. What would work better? Um, yeah, I, well, first of all, I, I liked it. Uh, it's a great story. So everything else is just, you know, little stuff for maybe video purposes. I like the fact that you drank from your mug for two reasons. It brings up Wonder Woman. It's very, it makes you very relatable, and it's also uh, conversational. You know, I think as we do these, we got to remember we're talking to somebody else out there. We just need to imagine like it's just one-on-one. -on -one you know, when you're talking. And I think, you know, just taking a cup like that, you know, a sip, I thought that was excellent, actually. So uh, I would keep that in there. The only, and then showing the art, I think, is important, too. So maybe when this story is, um, maybe the art piece can be kind of off to your shoulder or something. So maybe you can just kind of do this. Um, you know, turning the, the computer around is a little clunky for video purposes. So maybe for this story, um, you somehow reposition yourself, but I think it's great to throw that in there. Um, and then I really like the fact that you went, just went ahead and said, hey, here's something I want you to do. We're going to gonna pause the video and do this exercise, and I think that's great. Um, it, it, it's going to allow them to get more interactive with just a video, which I think is excellent. So, um, yeah, I mean, as far as just showing the art was the only thing that's clunky about it, but I think we just reposition you on that. But those are things that I really liked, Joanne. I thought it was really good. Yeah, that, the, I would agree with Matt, the, the printing was a little clunky. Uh, I think your, your story as you develop it will become tighter, mm -hmm. right? I mean, your, your, for me, your lead in is like, okay, like, I'd like to see the beginning a little, little cleaner. I love the mug. I thought that was a great intro, but then going into your story, just a little bit tighter. I'm like, okay, I wonder woman shoot. All right, I'm excited. And then I'm like, ooh, I'm afraid. Like, like those little points okay. of this. I think it could be a little um, tighter, that's all. But I, honestly, I, overall, I thought it was a great job, but there's like little pieces to me that I think you, would, you could tighten up a little bit. Um, the, just your, your smile, your excitement to talk about this, it is fantastic, it was truly infectious. This you could tell it is. Is near and dear to you, and that mm. came across, right? That came across, that story, and that, is what is winner. I mean, that is a winning formula for you because you can tell that this 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 resonates with you, and that part like you pick up the mug and like this. Hey, I'm a little obsessed about it. Like it was just that was just beautiful. So I, I yeah I could see this as being kind of uh, maybe your keynote story. You know, like they talk about that signature that signature story for you mm -hmm. was. It, it brings up a lot and it's very, very relatable for people. And, you know, that, that piece at the end where you had the, you know, where you held up the, the phone and said, look, that's me over the bill. Ooh, that's me. And, and the, how it inspires you. I would almost like to have heard a little bit more about, wow, what am I, what are you going to do with that photo? Right? Like, what am I going to do? Yeah, I don't that? even know. I got it yesterday. Right. Which is yeah. perfect timing. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. I don't even know what to do, but I'm excited to have it. Well, am I going to put it up next to my window, my other, my picture of Wonder Woman? What am I going to do with this thing? I'm excited. Is this going to become my new marketing material? I don't know, but I'm excited to have it. Right? Yeah. Like, that kind of a thing, like I, I could see, like now you've got this photo. What do you, you know, like, I, you know, I just got this photo. I'm not sure what I wanted to do with it, right? And this is how I integrated, or like just having it, that whole piece of unpacking, like just having the photo mm -hmm. of you and, 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 and what that meant for you. I, I wanted more of that. I want to yeah. know more of what that. Me that too. Goes. I'm looking forward to seeing where that goes. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, that I was like, ooh, it, it lets me go and I want more. So, uh, but look, honestly, if you, even if you didn't change a thing on that, it is still going to pull people in. If we go back to our formula where we said, did you have a message? Yes. Or did I connect with you? Absolutely. I connected with, as soon as you picked up that mug, I was in. Yeah. Right, I was, I was in, and I wanted to know more. Well, no, you're like, look, here's my, like, because it was very real. Like I think Matt said, it was very real. So 
did, did we connect? I absolutely connected with it. I connected with the story and I wanted, and I was just like, where's she going with this? Like the whole time I was, I was engaged. Did you have a message? Yes. I like that you built in the activity for it. So, so those pieces I think were really, were really key in it. And uh, look, I think this is going to be, this is going to be, this is gonna be <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> well, I needed a signature story outside of real estate training. So, and yeah. this is, I'm really, and I've always known this painting would have some good work in the world to do. I mean, people have asked for prints of it. I've given a couple t-shirts for friends for certain things, but um, yeah, there's a, I think there's opportunity here and thank you for encouraging it, Chris. Yeah. It, and this is, this is a great example of living the success principles, right? It's easy to say, fear the feel, feel the fear and do it anyway. Well, what have you done? Not much. <laughs> You've done it. And you know what's great about this? I mean, it touches on body image and self-confidence. I mean, everybody has, everyone's going to be able to relate to that man, woman, or whatever. So I think that's fantastic. Um, one thing I thought too is I think what we could do to wrap this up is after Chris and I say, Hey, Joanna, this was great, blah, blah, blah. And then you have a chance maybe to wrap it up and maybe instill a little more homework. Like what you can say then is the other benefit, like you said, is this picture is so powerful for me. It's going on my victory wall. It's important to remember that sometimes you do things and you do succeed and you got to count your victories. And so for homework right now, think about anytime you push the envelope or something you've done or something you've accomplished and start making your own victory wall. Start remembering the things you've done right because that's important because we, and that could be another way to focus. Oh, we always focus on what we did wrong, what we missed, what's, what's not there, right? So that's another way you could tie it into a little bit something else wrap up the video on your own um, because people are going to want, you know, this is all about you. So you're shining here. Chris and I are just little, you know, we're, here's we're an actual, little wounds around your, or yeah, about yeah. yeah, absolutely. And I think ending, ending then on you again would be perfect. And then, like I said, you know, talk about the victory wall or how that picture is going to, I like the, that. The experience pushes you. I like this idea so much. You're going to do it now. <laughs> okay. No, no time like the present. You've got it. Right. Let's, let's right. do it. So let me put it up. Hang on. Uh, yeah. All right. So we've just, that's a beautiful, beautiful, beauty about video is we can pretend that we just didn't have that conversation and, we're, and we'll cut to here. Okay. So just do that with uh, maybe saying, you know, I haven't been thinking about it. unpack that a little bit more about, about your piece. And then maybe like said, Matt said, talk about the victory wall. All right. So I'm sure not all of you have this opportunity or dream to go be like half naked on a rooftop and play superhero, but think of the times that you have faced your fear and made some incredible accomplishment by your own standards. Because I know for me, I have body image goals and I have the little sign on my scale that says I will weigh X amount by a certain date. And I have vision boards that have different things on there. But do you have a victory board? Do you have a victory um, scorecard for yourself? Because now I have something I'm very excited to put on that victory board. Regardless of what that scale says, regardless of how many of those clothes fit in the closet, regardless of how I do or don't like to have my picture taken, regardless of when I say yes to things and go, oh my gosh, what did I just agree to? What are your victories? And this is, this is a big one for me to be very excited and proud of, of a piece that turned out that touched on a lot of vulnerabilities for all of us. So as part of your homework, what are you afraid of? What's keeping you from moving forward? And find two or three of those victories in your own life and remember that feeling. Do the visualization. Where were you when it happened? How did it feel? What did you... How, how can you get more of those feelings? Because that's what we're here to do for you is to help you get more of those feelings of success and happiness and fulfillment and passion in your life. So we look forward to seeing your posts about your victory boards. Beautiful. Excellent. Yep. Yeah. That this, this really makes me think guys, it's like, so Xander in this thing, he does these comfort challenges, you know, and, I think that's where the best stories and the best way we relate is when we personally get out and do something, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, I don't know how, how we're going to do it completely. Like, but if, if it comes up and you're scared, you just got to do it and just say, screw it. This is for the video. 
You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's going to make such a better story because Joanna, yeah, you're so engaged with this, you know, so much more. And like, you know, the talk with uh, when you went to Nicaragua too, when they're mm -hmm. personal and whatever, the cottage is, it flows. You're, you're easily in flow because you don't have to think about, and then what is this principle all of? Because you experienced it. Mm -hmm. So I know for me, I'm going to push my boundaries and, and try to do stuff that gets me out of my comfort zone so I have better stories to share with this. So, Well, look, Matt, you, you kind of nailed it. A lot of this is being conversational. Mm -hmm. And people are going to relate to the challenges that you've faced and the victories that you've had and how you tell that story and how you got there and being ourselves and being relatable. You know, I mean, that's... That's what it is. It's look, if people connect to us, that's what the piece is. Right? Well, and if you think about all the successful podcasts, they're interviews and they're audio. But if you listen to the highest and best ones, and I follow a few people, um, it's always interviews because people are hard. It's hard to talk about yourself. It's kind of hard to tell your own story. But if you're, you started this, Chris, Joanna, tell us about the Wonder Woman shoot. Oh my gosh, you can't believe what I just did. But it is, it's like you're listening in on someone's conversation. So I think as we add that in, especially with the feedback pieces, um, or we may bring other people into this that we want to interview. I mean, if we ever get a chance to do Jack or Patty or, you know, people that we know are going to bring some valuable content. I think that adds to that conversational piece. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I had the thought too, like maybe we should have an intro where it's all three of us and we're just... Uh, you know, not to be like too cheesy, but just kind of shooting the shit about, you know, hey, right now we're going to talk about fear. We're going to talk about this and that. And, you know, maybe there's just a little. And then Chris could say, Joanna, this would be a great time for you to share your Wonder Woman story. Or how and we then, inspire each other. Because I think it's hard to know how we come across to other people. But like Matt, choice is your superpower. That connected this whole Wonder Woman thing for me six months ago when we had the conversation. So even if I said, you know, I've gotten to know Matt and Chris for the last six months. And let me tell you what Matt brings to the table here, how it impacts me is that, 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 that. And what Chris brings to the table, I walk, I, I'm finished with this one hour with a, a smile on my face that I, I can't, like my mouth almost hurts because it's always engaged. <laughs> you know, corporate training sounds so boring, but he makes me want to go sit in one of the classes. <laughs> So, I mean, I think if we could talk about each other to some, like, even if it's just 30 seconds, it, as well as how we feel about presenting this material, that might add some conversation and engagement too. Right. Yeah. I, I have one more idea if I can share. You have something, Chris? Okay, I'll just go so we don't waste time doing it. Um, we've, so we were talking, uh, I told you, Joanna, in the, in the uh, email, like, we should do a session like this where you coach me because mm -hmm. I want to get out of my nine to five. I want to be a professional coach. And Chris and I were like, well, you need a coach. And I'm like, I got two coaches. So mm -hmm. you coach me, Chris kind of watches and kind of give feedback. And then yes. I coach Chris, and so, whatever. We could record some of those for the video too mm -hmm. and be like, you know, use those as real world examples. And you could say, Matt, I need you to go do, like we're going to talk about ask, ask, ask. You need to go ask how to, you know, create a website or, you know, whatever comes up. And then, then I'd have a real life story about ask, 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 because, hey, I went out and did this and this and that's this person, and, and that could do that. So, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So, I don't know what you guys think about actually recording those sessions as part of the, um, sure. you know, the portion. And then, like I said, then that, that will force us in a, in a true organic way to, it's um, I love you too, sweetie. That would give us a real organic way to do this stuff. Mm -hmm. Right, you know, so the stories well, are genuine. The, those who can't do teach, um, you know, if we're doing it for each other and teaching each other, I think that's more believable. And by you know, I would get more excited as a participant that hey, they're actually doing these things. They're not just reading from a book or you know, puffing themselves up and they're like working at McDonald's nine to five and acting like they're all hot and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the vulnerability of for you, Matt, to say, you know, I'm nervous to call these people or I don't know, but to say when I admit, get to this meeting, everybody has yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. So well, this was really good. This is, this is getting exciting. Yeah. I, so to piggyback on that idea, so Matt and I, I, I had this idea a while ago and I just, we just weren't executing on it. Matt and I were talking last week. And I said, you know, let's do this. So uh, I think one of the things that, that Matt brought up is, 
and he said this a couple of weeks ago, was um, uh, having more touch points for us. Like mm -hmm. once a week is, is okay, but we're really looking to build a business and mm -hmm. our pieces together. And once, you know, one hour a week, I don't know if it's enough touch points for us to, to get to where we want to go in, in the mm -hmm. period of time. So Matt, I appreciate you um, suggesting that. So this, I think, is an additional touch point. And to Matt's point, I hadn't thought about us recording it and then it being like, it may be an add-on at the end. It's like, here's a coaching program. Say, well, by the way, here's some bonus materials, us going through coaching programs, us coaching each other on sticking points, and then we could take the ones that we think are you know, most appropriate for people, right? And mm -hmm. have a follow-up. So here's the coaching program. Here's some of the results of it. That could be really kind of an interesting piece to hear people go through that because one of the things that Matt and I talked about was, look, when, when, you, when you give your elevator pitch, what are you going to point them to? Mm -hmm. right. Well, we're working on a book. It should come out in the next six weeks. We're working on a website, and it should come out. So, right. people, so, you ha so we want to have something immediate. And, and one of the things I suggested to Matt was, is like, look, I've got a, a seven-week uh, coaching program that I'm going to work on. It's $1,500, and we'll, I'll work with you to, to get from, you know, really define what, you're, what it is that you want how to how to get that and how to change your mindset that's the that's the focus of it it's a seven week program and you we commit to saying maybe five people let's say we got busy schedules you're going to coach five people is your maximum and when somebody says well i have a seven week coaching program but right now i'm fully booked and people mm -hmm. well, you're fully booked already and so i'll call you when i have an opening right because mm -hmm. maybe we say it's five people a week and then all of a sudden matt's like screw that i'm going to ten you know, I want, I want out of what I'm doing right now. If I can make this what I'm doing for a living, then that's what I'll do. So I think having that piece for us when we do our elevator pitch for these kind of pieces and then mm -hmm. say, we're also working on, working on a, a web series. And as soon as that comes up, you know, as soon as we have the website up and the content nailed down, I'll reach out to you because that'll allow me to um, free up a little bit more of my time to work with people. So uh, the other thing I'd like to add to that is I've seen this be successful with other coaches is building an audience. So even maybe before we have a real product out there, um, it might be a good idea just to put on the board of ideas of just creating a Facebook page for us and we can post inspirational things as we find them. We can maybe start developing a little bit of an audience so we're not just subject to the people that we know when we're ready to launch these pieces. And, you know, if it, if it doesn't take off, we can pause it, hide it, get rid of it. And it doesn't look like a failure, but I think it's also a place that with the sphere of influence that we have, and we know our Canfield people will join us if we invite them to, and we get some engagement with some other really great people and outsiders see, Oh my gosh, this guy's in Germany and he's a dentist and now he's a motivational speaker. And this woman designs wedding dresses and she's been in the, Alexander McQueen fashion show and this person's in wherever. I, I think that we have a huge value in the resources we already have. Maybe that aren't people that are going to take our program, but that we can add a lot of credibility to us by our associations with them. I love it. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> well, I'm happy to do it. Um, if you'd like, or if we want to say, okay, by August 1st, we'll do it or September 1st, we'll do it or something like that. Uh, I want to plus that idea. So, I like the idea of doing this. I think we should start reaching out to some of the Cranfield people and practicing interviews. So these are pieces for us that I think would be content that we can add on to our, our web series. Sure. So we'll have the success principles like nailed out and go, look, here's an interview with a dentist turned public speaker. Here's an interview with someone who, who, overcame uh, you know a difficult childhood you know abusive childhood to do this and talk about their, their piece so people can go and say look you can hear us interviewing somebody for this and this be additional content that we have and it could be things that we could snip like you said to put on here here here's I, I just wanted to share with you guys on this one uh, interview we had with it if you want to see the full interview go to our website you know click on choices your superpower we have some free resources for you as we're building up our you know, our, our content so maybe that's a way to get people to go start hitting the website so I like these ideas um, uh, so I think it's a it's a great idea and I it's one of these things that I had and I was talking with Matt about before and it just kind of reminded me was 
interviewing people that are successful. That yeah. is one of those things that it was Jack's formula. Right. 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 It, it's Jack's formula, and the only difference is, is we could do it as a web as a web piece. And like you said, and then people go, look, uh, you know, I, I you know, Joanna was interviewing this top ten, you know, real estate person. We could have them by category, like real estate and this, or sales and that, or speaking and this. And you know, we just say, look, I'm talking to a world renowned public speaker, or I'm talking to this person, and just start asking. People love to talk about themselves, so we can mm -hmm. develop that interviewing skill for mm -hmm. ourselves, record it, and then see how it goes. So um, I, I really like that. So I'm going to give everybody a little bit of homework if they're okay. Is I like to pick three people from Canfield or outside of Canfield that you would like to try to do the, this, the interviews with. Uh, I'd like to take, we're taking the weekend off. I'd like to come back next week and us decide on what our day is to do our coaching for each other, right? So let's decide that where our coaching is, what's going to be a good schedule to work out for people. Do the coaching piece, maybe set up what the interviews are and our regular, you know, content video. <clears throat> so let's get those pieces down. And then um, I, I think we should go through these like at three week cycles. Let's do the interview. Let's do our, you know, our normal video content pieces. Uh, I want to nail down the outline. So there's certain like business things that I think we have to start really thinking about to get the pieces together. All right, website, how much is it going to cost us? Are we all chipping in? What's, what's the plan on, on this? And just start getting it moving. Because there's, there's nothing like saying, like, these are all the tasks. When are we going to do this? And let's start putting timelines to them. Because I think we can do this in, you know, if we really committed to it, we'd probably get it done sooner, right? Mm -hmm. Question of us balancing our thing. But three months, six months, what is our time frame to get this completed? And how high a priority is it for us? So uh, my opinion is there's such a huge number of people that get excited about joining programs and making change in December and January. And I say December because the cash is better and like, honey, this is what I want for Christmas. I want to join this program or I've given all these presents to everybody else. I'm going to do something for me. Now, January 15th happens. The intentions are still there and they're like, there's the Christmas credit card bill. So maybe we don't have the full program put together, but maybe that's when we start offering the free content and building our list and having at least a web landing page with a way to capture visitors, post some of these interviews. Um, people get to know us a little bit. Right. Just, I know that's soon, but maybe I know we need a date, a target date, even if it has to change. Look, I think we should shoot for November to having the content ready. And before that, having it up and, and getting it going. Cause look, there's the guy from Jack Canfield who does the, who does uh, websites, right? Byron, I think it was mm -hmm. Brian Mannion. Brian. Yeah. Um, <laughs> based on here, so here's the deal. We can have a website <clears throat> similar to the one I showed you guys the other day. Um, that's not an open website. When you go to it, you have to log in. You know, it doesn't have to be really. Um, once we put the the content together. We don't really need Facebook and all that because we can go organically and start trying to funnel people into the program, you know, any, any way you want. Um, so, yeah, let's not get too – let's work on this. I really think that's the best idea is let's get the, um, let's get the outline done so we can keep making every time we're together as, as beneficial as possible to have something ready to put on the website. Okay. And I think if we have a good outline and we know what we're doing, um, you know, then we can say, Chris, I want you to prepare to talk about this. Uh, but Joanna, you're going to jump in with your story on fear. And then, you know, that's how we can start really laying it out. We know what we're doing. And I think that's really going to build the momentum because once we have the program together, we can do whatever we want to get it out there. Well, and that you second know? meeting a week could be partially a planning meeting for the, rec well, it's re all recorded, but, you know, so that when we do land on the Saturday morning time or whatever our content recording time is dedicated, we've got, like you said, Matt, the outline, the plan. Yeah. It'll save us an editing cost too if we have something that's more yeah. streamlined. That's it. I think the biggest obstacle in, a, in our way is just making time for this. Yes. I mean, I think really that's all it's going to be. And we probably need to think outside of the box is like, what can Joanna do on her own and Chris and me? What can we do on our own to video, record, do an interview? I think these, or, interviews, these interviews we can do on our own. 
If we get yeah. a format together that we all agree on so that they're consistent when someone goes to the website and says, oh, if I see an interview with this person, it's going to be, what's your special, what's your superpower? You know, so that we, all of our videos look at least cohesive. Obviously, they're going to be different. But the, I would think the interview is easily something we can all do on a Zoom account and make sure that we've made X amount of contributions per week or per month. Sure, sure. Okay. I hate to cut you guys off, but I got to go sell sandpaper and glue. So um, uh, let's at least talk on email or something and figure out if we're going to do another time or, you know, maybe, and think about too, like, do we want to just schedule another hour or is there like once in a while, can we do three hours? You know, is there something that might be more beneficial that we keep this momentum going? So yeah. um, think it over. So, but I think this is really getting good guys. All right. What I'm going to say is for the next meeting, not this Saturday, but the following Saturday, Let's go through that that interview process, like, you know, the intro process again. Okay. Do a quick roundabout, and then the rest of it, let's let's do it as a planning session on our 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 outline. So we we put those outlines together, but we didn't follow up on it. I and by the way, I like the idea of the Facebook page just because everybody's on Facebook. Like to to build a like a you know people following people who are excited about what we're saying we have those resources and it's what people are used to doing they just crossed two billion people i just got the email i don't know if you guys saw yeah i saw that on facebook it is a powerful engine if you can tap into it and start getting people to go look this is a page that's fun to go to and i'm inspired by that that funnels into all the things into the live events that we want to do into our website like look we've just created our web series guys we're ready here we're thinking it's largely, it is my biggest influencer in what my business is and why I do or don't make money. If I'm absent and I'm not engaged with people, I mean, last night I saw one of my clients at dinner and he said, you know, I don't get to see you all that often and we're not moving anytime soon, but your Facebook page is so much fun to follow and I just really love what you're doing. Awesome. That's right. awesome. I could not spend... I couldn't buy this guy's dinner every night of the week and have that kind of buy-in, you know? Right, right. So if we keep it private and small in the beginning till we're comfortable that it looks the way we want it to, but I think we have hundreds of friends within the Canfield organization and in our own spheres that um, can make us look bigger than we are right now and support us and be good people to engage with. Yep. yep. Okay. All right, Matt, you go sell glue. Yep. So next week we'll go through this and then it'll be a planning session and then we're going to get – Really just on, let's get on content and figure okay. out other times that we can get together. All right. And if you guys want right. to meet before next Saturday, I know that's a short week with the holiday. Just give me a heads up. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, it might work. So, all right, cool okay. guys. Have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye. Right, bye. bye.